Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mork, board certified orthopedic surgeon, endoscopic spine specialist. And I believe in two things. I believe in the power of the body to heal itself, and I believe that there is health in motion. And when I get to see people with back and neck pain, I do everything to encourage them to do everything possible to avoid having a spine surgery. My story began when I was a teenager, about 15 years of age, and at that time I was applying to a private school and having to take a battery of tests. When it came time to decide whether to admit me or not, I don't think that they were very impressed with my English or my math scores, but they admitted me because I had the highest three-dimensional perception scores that they'd ever seen. And I wondered at the age of 15, well, what kind of a job is three-dimensional perception? I never really gave it too much thought for years, but in medical school and residency, I began to understand how that three-dimensional perception may have attracted me to something in particular. And that was arthroscopy or endoscopy. There was something very special about looking at the inside of somebody using a video camera and looking at a flat screen on the wall while not looking at my hands. It was an unusual talent, maybe. I didn't think it was, but as I saw other people struggling, I realized that that must have had something to do with that three-dimensional perception. From 1982 to 1998, I was practicing sports medicine, sports surgery, and really the practice of arthroscopy was a cornerstone in the development of the sports medicine revolution which really started in the early 80s. And the reason that arthroscopy was such an important factor at that time was because there was so little collateral damage to the tissues surrounding the problem but not actually being the problem. And the second thing was the early range of motion. So range of motion was everything in sports medicine even after surgery when possible. And the small incisions made it possible to start range of motion almost immediately after surgery, which of course helps with muscles, muscle strength, swelling, edema. Uh, everything gets better when the body is moving. This was so important at that particular point in time. And it's actually how I started practice in Long Beach. The last 10 years of my practice in Long Beach, I was actually working in a six-man spine office. This was a busy office and the majority of the operations performed were fusions. In the beginning of my time there, I was pretty happy uh, to have someone else dealing with all the back pain problems since I wasn't really that comfortable or knowledgeable about it. But as time went along, I noticed two things about fusions. One, they're irreversible. Two, the goal of a fusion is to eliminate motion. So, I saw a lot of small problems being treated with big surgery. And don't think that small problems can't hurt, as I'm sure you all know. But I liken it to working in the garden and getting a small rose thorn stuck in my thumb. And it seems like a lot of big pain, but when I get inside, I can barely find the little thorn. As time went along in that spine office, I became more and more convinced that arthroscopy and endoscopy could be used to solve a lot of the small problems I saw in the back. And in 1998, I joined another office in Florida and actually started to teach myself uh, and learn as much as I could, but often had to teach myself and make the instruments to do endoscopic spinal surgery. I was amazed at the number of problems that could be successfully treated, disc herniation, stenosis, facet arthritis, even some sacroiliac joint problems. All of these being taken care of as an outpatient under conscious sedation operating through a tube that was between 4 millimeters and 16 millimeters in diameter, all without the use of a fusion. And I really had a lot of experience as time went on and was really pleased as I saw the results coming year after year. Well, after performing about 8,000 procedures over 15 years, I came to a few conclusions. One, 80 to 90 percent of all the problems I saw coming through my office could be saved from having a fusion. Two, endoscopic or arthroscopic spine surgery represents the most minimally invasive procedure to perform on a spine. Number three, 
endoscopic spinal surgery performed without a fusion can allow patients to return back to your practice within just a few weeks of the procedure so that you can continue to treat them for alignment, maintenance, and comfort. Well, my final parting thought, when it comes to spine surgery, less is better. And refuse to fuse when possible. Thank you.